Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome back to Qasid Online. This is Ayub Palmer, and I'm an Arabic instructor for Qasid Arabic Institute. This is the 22nd video in our Arabic letter series, and we'll be learning about the Lam and the Alif Lam in this lesson. You can, you can take out your writing worksheet and follow along with this video if you wish. For those who don't have the worksheets that accompany this video series, please fill out the form at the end of the video, and Qasid will have them sent to you. Let's get started. So we have four main objectives in this lesson. The first objective is to pronounce the lam and the alif lam correctly. The second is to recognize the lam and the alif lam when we see them in a word. The third is to write the different forms of the lam correctly. And the fourth is to pronounce and write the lam in a word. And the word we have for this lesson is alayl, meaning the night. Now let's look at the pronunciation of the lam and the alif lam. So here we have the lam on the right, and this is like the L in English, as in lid. Now, this is important to understand when we say the L as in lid, it's a, it's a different lamb than the L that is pronounced when we say the word left, left. So it's not the L in left, because this L does not touch the teeth left, whereas lid does. And this is the type of L that we mean, or this is the pronunciation that is used for the lamb in Arabic. Now we also have the alif lamb, and this particle is pronounced L, like that. Basically, it's an alif and a lamb. So you can see here the alif, excuse me, and here you can see the lamb. So it's two letters together, and they are pronounced l. And in English, I mean in Arabic, this means the. You know, like we say, the lid, the lid. Okay. Now let's look at where we are in the Arabic alphabet. So we are at lamb here, and we also are discussing the elif lamb. So now we're going to look at the lamb and in its four positions. And remember, we have four positions for the Arabic letters. The first is the independent position, and we have the lamb in the independent position, and this is the lamb when it looks like this. And the initial position, the lamb looks like this. And in the medial position, the lamb looks like this. And in the final position, the lamb looks like this, again, like the, like the independent position. Notice that the lamb in these two cases looks similar to the alif, but of course is different. And so distinguishing between the alif and the lamb is an important distinction. Now the alif lamb, we write it like this, is written at the beginning of a word. So, for example, if we have the word bab, and we remember what bab means, bab means door, we can add alif lam to this word and it becomes al bab, meaning, so here this is door, this is the door. 
So you can add Elif Lam to almost any noun to mean the and then that thing. Now let's write the Lam and the Elif Lam. And we'll just change our color here. So we're writing the lamb. So in our initial, in our independent position, the lamb looks like this. Let's do it again, like this. One more time. Good. Now we're going to write the lamb in the initial position. Like that, like that, there you go. And in the medial position, we write the lamb like this. Again, we write the lamb like this. And one more time, we write the lamb like this. Connecting from both sides, again. And in the final position, we have the lamb connects and it comes up. And I fill that in there. And one more time, comes up. And there. So that's the lamb in its four different positions. Now, let's write the elif lamb. We're going to write the alif lam. So the alif lam, first we write our alif, and then we write our lam. See, this, this lam here is number two, right? The second position, that's the initial position. Why? Because here it doesn't connect to the alif because the alif doesn't connect to what comes after it, but it connects to what comes after it. The lam connects to what comes after it. So we write here. And we write this like this. One more time, elif, and then lam. Now, if we want to write this on a word like elbab, we want to write elbab, the door. We write the elif and the lam, and then we connect to our ba, come up, and then write our ba. Now we have elbab, meaning the door. Okay, now let's write the word El Lail. Okay, so we're going to write El Lail. And just to recap on the different positions of the lamb, we have, we have the lamb in the independent position, the lamb in the initial position, the lamb in the medial position, and the lamb in the final position. And then we have elif lamb at the beginning of the word. Okay, so we have el-lail, el-lail. So the el sound, the el, and remember it's, this has an el sound. So we're going to put that at the beginning, el, el-lail. Now notice that you hear another lamb and the lamb is held. So it's emphasized. So we say El-Lail. So the lamb, there's actually going to be two lambs here. We have one lamb. And we have a Sukun. And we have another lamb. And we have a Fatha. El-Lail. El. So we have the A sound, and that is a Ya. That is a ya diphthong. A l a l at the end. So we have a lamb again. And and we have here on this ya is a sukun. So we're gonna write this together. And we have here L. Now these letters here connect. And these letters here 
connect, and these letters here connect, and these letters here connect. So all of the letters connect. So this looks like like that. Now, we have here two lambs. What happens when we have two letters together? Well, we have to combine them and write a shadda. So we have here al-layl. So we're going to combine these so that we write it correctly. And here we have the word Al-Layl, and that means, sorry, the night. Okay, let's write this a few times. So here we're going to write Al-Layl. So we write here our Alif. And then our alif lam, come up with the alif, I mean with the lam again, yeah, and final lam. And we put a shadda here. That means there are two lambs, there are two lambs here. Al layl. One more time. Here, alif lam, lam. Yeah, final lamb. We have here Al-Layl. Let's do it one more time. Alif lamb means the. We have our lamb again. Yeah, and our final lamb. Al-Layl. Okay, let's recap. So the letter LAM in Arabic is like the letter L as in the word LID, LID. And the ALIF LAM is a combination of two letters, meaning THE in Arabic. The letter LAM is often confused with the ALIF, so be careful. But it is different than the ALIF in that it connects both from the right and the left, whereas the alif, of course, connects only from the right and not the left. So in the third position, the lamb looks like this. The alif lamb connects to the front of a noun. So we write alif lamb like this means, and this means the, and if we connect it to a word like bab, then it becomes el. Bab, meaning the door. So please download the writing worksheet and practice writing the lamb and the elif lamb on your on your writing worksheet. And also don't forget forget to download the letter combination chart and the reading activity that accompanies this lesson. And to get a hold of our entire set of worksheets that go along with these video tutorials, please see the instructions at the end of this video or in the text blurb below. Thank you so much. We hope to see you back here at Qasid Online. Ma'as Salamah.